which includes the moment at which the Americans carry out their attack. You may find it deeply upsetting. Tonight, for the first time, you will see something of what happens in the unreported war. For days, American and Iraqi forces have killed scores of civilians in Samara as they seized the town from the insurgents. For successive nights, they've bombed Fallujah in preparation to do the same here. And once they decided to bomb cities, they decided to accept the routine killing of civilians as the price for hitting their target. It is inevitable that some innocent people are going to get killed, maybe in, in a higher proportion to the enemy that you kill. And this whole philosophy of using air power to back up ground forces is incredibly risky once it's done within an urban area where not everybody is an enemy. What follows is a rare glimpse inside America's disastrous attempts to seize Fallujah from the insurgents back in April. At the time, there were reports of hundreds of bodies piling up at the hospital. But until now, we've had little real idea of how American pilots actually go about bombing in built-up areas. The Pentagon's confirmed that what you're about to see is cockpit video from a US Air Force F-16 fighter shot in April. The pilot tells ground control, I've got numerous individuals on the road. Shall I take them out? He's instantly told, take them out. I got numerous individuals on the road. Do you want me to take those out? Take them out. The pilot locks the bomb guidance system onto the crowd running along the street. Ten seconds. Roger. Impact. The pilot's reaction, oh dude. Oh dude. Overnight, Channel 4 News received the following email. From Lieutenant Colonel Frank Smolinski, Chief Air Force Press Desk, Pentagon. This video is indeed gun film footage from a U.S. Air Force F-16 fighter. The mission was not recent. It was in April 2004. This was a close air support mission flown by an F-16 fighting Falcon in the Fallujah vicinity and under the command of a joint terminal attack controller serving with ground forces in the area. The JTAC designated the target and confirmed the hit. And what does the confirmed hit tell us? Well, primarily, the decision was taken incredibly quickly. It's just 32 seconds from the pilot telling ground control he's seen this crowd to the deaths of 30 or so people. Well, you can see from this film that the decision to drop this weapon was made very, very quickly. In fact, the target was seen by the pilot of the aircraft, not from anyone controlling the battle on the ground. It was the aircraft who saw these individuals emerging from around the corner. He says, I have a target, and in an exchange of just a few words, he's given clearance to drop. Obviously, the, the situation is, is that critical, that this can happen in, in five or six words. The video graphically illustrates U.S. rules of engagement in practice in Iraq. 